Hey everybody, welcome to Art Chat TV. I just wanted to pop on here real quick. Um, I had a few questions sent to me. Uh, these are for folks that are interested in joining my mentorship session over on Masterius. And the, our session actually starts on March 27th, goes from 7 p.m. Eastern time to 9 p.m. Eastern time. And it's every last Wednesday of the month. And we spend two hours together. We talk about your work. We talk about where it is you want to go on your journey, any questions you may have. I'll have some homework assignments that we can work through. And um, I will give you critiques on that. Uh, and it'll be a lot of fun. It'll just be a way, a real safe environment for us to talk about art and to really step up our uh, commitment to our art journeys. And I'd be so happy to hear from you guys and what's going on with your art journey. It'll be so much fun. So I've had a few questions submitted about what we were going to be covering in those sessions. Um, and I wanted to answer one of those questions today, how to set up a successful composition. Wow. Deep subject. <laughs> it's the foundation of your painting. It's going to draw the viewer from across the room to cross that room and look at your, uh, your work, your, your artistic expression, if you will what you're trying to say. Composition is at the basis of that. So what we'll do is we'll end up studying um, some basic compositions from uh, Edgar Payne's book. And um, we'll also start looking at uh, various ways that we can start thinking about how to guide the viewer through our paintings. I always call it how to read a painting. So um, basically, just real quick, I want to share a screen and talk a little bit about that. So this, for example, is one thing that we will go through. Um, this is a painting by Claude Monet, naturally, of lily pads. And you can see I have these things numbered. And each of these numbers correspond to what's going on in the painting and how he directed our eye. So nice. think about uh, different things, actually, when you start to looking at uh, a composition how we want the viewer to read the painting, how we want to walk them through that painting. It's very, it's very, very important very... for us to have places where the eye can rest. That is a combination of value and edges and color, but goes back to composition. So one of the things that we do, or what that I do, is I take color out of the, out of the equation so that we can focus on the values of the painting, how our eyes going to travel through the painting. We can consider where we're going to put that magical color uh, combination that makes the eye rest in one place or another. Um, you know, we'll talk about the golden mean. We'll talk about the rule of thirds. Um, I particularly like the rule of thirds. It's less complicated for me than trying to figure out all those lines and everything um, with the, the golden mean. There's a you know, what I always like to think of focal point is there's the main focal point, and then there are these smaller focal points that lead you around back to that main focal point. So we'll have all these conversations about that. So uh, there's a lot that goes into composition. It starts at the very foundation of your painting. Um, drawing skills need to be brought into that. So I hope that answers that question. Um, but if you're into learning how to create very, very strong compositions, how to direct your eye, I mean, look at the boat behind me here. You know, um, I had a number of people say, wow, you know, I really get seasick watching that painting. That was my goal. I, you know, these, the little schooner, um, that was not a ship that had stabilizers on it. So you rocked and rolled. So I wanted to get that rock and roll into that painting and uh, was very, very happy uh, when a number of people, including uh, my good friend, Joe McGurl, you know, wrote me a note and said, wow, you know, I really get seasick watching this painting. And, and like I said, that's what my goal was. And that's what those waves are, are talking about. And it leads you right into the boat and the sails and everything else that's going on in the sunset. And, you know, you weren't going to get a lot of rest that night. You could tell that by the ocean and, and how the waves are going. So all of that comes into the composition of the painting and, and, um, you know, I wasn't around when those little boats were sailing the seas. Thank God. Um, maybe in a prior life. I don't know. But um, yeah, so, you know, it, all of the composition pieces are so important to the painting. And it's such a part of the foundational part of that 
Um, and it's the jump off point for when you start using color or what your color combinations are going to be, et cetera. So composition is definitely something we will cover in my um, masterclass and uh, hope that I'll see you there. So again, sign up, masterius.com, do a search for Fissler, F-I-S-L-E-R, under the mentors tab, um, and then check out also all the free events that um, Masterius has coming up. So we'll talk to you soon. Bye.